Big Al and welcome to Dino Flash videos. I'm here in the Dino with my Dino Flash STI. I built it myself, I tuned it myself, I wrenched it myself, I put the whole fucking thing together myself. I'm here dynoing it by myself. Uh, I'm running 24 pounds of boost on the Dino tonight and we got 568 horsepower. Um, nice power bank, keeps climbing all the way up. Uh, I could use a little tuning here on the dyno, but the main thing is it's tuned on the street. I just wanted to see how it's running. Maybe we'll uh, we'll tweak things a little bit, push up to 600. Let me take a look at the data log, and we'll see how we go. We'll take it from there. We're having uh, fuel supply issues. Um, I noticed the car was going lean, so I hooked up a fuel pressure uh, gauge to the car and monitor the fuel pressure during a dyno pull and the fuel pressure is dropping. I do have the Busher double pumper. Um, we're going to put crazy glue. That's one of my tricks by the way. I took this hose off. I put pressure into the hose to uh, actuate the double pumper. The both pumps are working. Um, uh, theorizing that my fuel filter may be clogged or perhaps one of the Walboro pumps may be uh, suffering. So. Um, what we're going to do is uh, bypass the fuel filter temporarily just for testing purposes and we're going to test the car. Um, I put crazy glue on all the vacuum hoses to make sure they don't pop off and a zip tie now. Um, can't be too careful especially when it comes to a hose that's actuating the double pumper. That's what killed my motor the last time. Um, so we'll put crazy glue and a zip tie. Make sure that thing definitely stays on 100%. Um, Be, you can't be too careful with this kind of stuff. Anyway, so uh, pass our dyno curfew for the night. This car is really fucking loud. Um, I'm going to take it off the dyno and uh, take it on the street. Like I said, I bypassed the fuel uh, filter with a straight connector. Um, we'll take it on the road and see if, uh, if we get the fuel pressure we need. If we do, then we need to get a, a new fuel filter or possibly one that flows better. If we don't, then uh, it looks like we're going to have to change the Walboro pumps in the tank. Maybe one of them is uh, weak. Uh, it's not easy to have a car that potentially is going to make 700 something horsepower and pump gas, but it is fun. And these type of little challenges are definitely something that I enjoy. So uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you for watching and we'll speak to you soon. What's up, man? Put a lot of that. That's my How camera, you doing? Man. You got the same one? Yeah. All right. H so, H H. -H oh shit! Look at that, bro. We got fucking. We got traffic delays. Um, what's your name on the forms, bro? B Bong. I'm Big Al. B Bob. B Bong. And that's a famous celebrity, Mike <laughs> from Innovative it. Tuning. Correct? How you doing? Uh, um, uh, what happened was, my man back here. Uh, took his car to some facility that remained unknown, un unmentioned, because I'm not, I'm not into shit talking anybody. And then the, he wanted to have his man here, Mike, tune the car. And then they, they, they have like insecurity about somebody else tuning, and they fucking sh fucked him in the ass, basically, and left him with no place to dyno. So we said, "Come on down, you could dyno. You're welcome. Come down to our place, right? Yeah, and you're getting exactly your Subaru exactly tune." That. By your man, your tuner of choice, That's Mr. Right. Mike. Taking a quick break. Uh, anybody could uh, could come and tune in our place. We don't care, as long as you have a Subaru, we're, we were happy. So uh, we decided that uh, during this occasion we'd go out for a little test drive. But unfortunately, it is Friday during the rush hour. But we'll try to test the car, you know, to have a a little taste of what the car is capable of, you know. Not my car. This this car, this is my this is my car here. You do the action because you're there you you're go. familiar. You're it's familiar. your camera. You yeah, it's you exactly the same fucking camera. It's a good camera, right? Where'd you get it, man? I got it off of uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I got mine at B and H. No, that was in Manhattan. Those right? guys are good. I only got 24 pounds, like I said, because I got a fuel pump issue. Fuel supply. Hopefully, the fuel supply will remain constant enough. You know. So let's so make a little room here. Looks like we got a little spot opening up. It's a little broken, but Subaru's good at all-wheel drive, man, right?
keeps going. Yeah, yeah. it's nice, right? Oh, as far as shit. Keeps going. It took right. me, it took me nine years of my life to get to this point. Fuck. To, to get a Subaru that runs like this, you know. I don't know how long it will last. But your Evo is still quicker, right? Yeah, yeah. This is a street car, you know. But right now, I'm, I can't. I gotta fix the issue. I'm gonna go fix it this afternoon, maybe, if I can get done with all the customer cards and fix it. I wanna turn the fucking Turn, turn the boost up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, it's good, right? Yeah, yeah. fucking awesome. It yeah, definitely keeps probably, pulling Right up now, top. it's probably like 540, 550 to the tire. You know, nothing crazy, but enjoyable, you know? Is it still recording, man? Yeah. The red light's on? Oh, good. I love my Subaru. Red, red light is on. Man. We like making videos so that the people who don't have a fast Subaru could kind of get an experience and kind of get an sound? idea of what it is, you know? What is this sound, though? What? What is this sound from the back? Like, yeah. Oh, my rear end is blown up, bro. <laughs> from too much drag racing. So my attitude is, as long as the car's still rolling, I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, I mean, it's gonna break at some point completely, but then I'll, I'll, I'll worry about it at that point, because why fuck with it right now? You know? Let me pull this fucking thing out here so I can actually shift. Got all these attachments, bro. We got a full car, you know? around the corner first, eh? It's a sleeve block because it's raining, you know? Nice, right? All right, I'm Big Al. Uh, I'm here with my STI. Uh, we're doing some testing here with uh, fuel pressure. Uh, I'm having a hard time because I'm by myself holding my trusty snap-on light and uh, watching this fuel pressure gauge. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to record it with the video camera so I can watch it after the fact. I'm just going to put this right up here. That's going to be perfect, man. And then, and then I'm going to record it, and you can see you know, how I go about my diagnosis here. Um, uh, past dyno curfew right now, I replaced some faulty hose. Um, we gotta make sure we got room on the road. Lots of room, space, do this safely. And then uh, I'm gonna hit it in third gear here. Just watch ahead of me to make sure that I got no dipshits in front of me. And then we're gonna watch the, the video after the fact. Here, here we go. correct this fuel pressure problem then uh, then we're gonna be able to move on to tuning the car at higher boost right now we're about 24 pounds and my rear diff is really fucking loud when I got no seat in the back I was just working on the fuel pumps. what happened was um, a piece of hose deteriorated inside the fuel tank on the double pumper setup because I guess because the car is sitting for such a long period of time and the gasoline just kind of ate away at the hose and that's all part of high performance, man. You gotta do maintenance and make sure everything's running perfectly, man, before you get on it. Um, if you were into high performance, you gotta you gotta be fussy and make sure your your stuff is correct. All right, we can see that clearly in the uh, less than scientific sampling, the it's very clear that the the fuel pressure is dropping as the pass is progressing. Um, even although it's an improvement over the hose that was damaged, it's still dropping. So I have uh, two more um, possible scenarios. Uh, option A may be that one of the Walbro pumps may be bad, or both may be bad, or an option B may not have sufficient voltage on one of the pumps at the back. So um, we're going to tackle both fronts. We're going to get uh, two new Walbro pumps, and we're going to send a uh, hard wire back to the back with a relay. Uh, so we get stronger voltage. That's our next step. Again, uh, if you have a high performance, highly modified Subaru, you need to be prepared to check every little detail and make sure everything's perfect before you unleash it. It's got to be right or it's going to blow up.